You really liked my previous art hacks video a lot and you requested another one. Now, here are the 8 art hacks that will actually help you. Wax bloom happens when you use wax-based color pencils. Basically, in time, the wax in the colored pencil rises to the surface. The softer the pencil, the more likely wax bloom becomes. Also, I seem to have them when I make heavy applications of layers. In order to clean, simply wet a clean soft fabric or towel, squeeze the excessive water and gently wipe off the wax. As you wipe the wax off, you will see the underlying layer show more and more. Just make sure that you don't press on the paper because you might pick up the paint by accident. Once it dries, you will see that it will go back to normal and you have your perfect painting back again. Graphite is a lovely medium, but it shines a lot. Sometimes it can create a problem as the commissioner might not be happy about this shine. Because depending on the angle you look at the art, you might think that the realism is affected by this shiny look. There are two ways to get rid of this. The first one is just like in this portrait, blending the graphite with a tissue. In this, that's why you don't see any shine in their faces. The second one is where you make heavy applications of graphite, you can add some charcoal dust with a tissue or a cotton just like you see here. And for the darker areas, you can apply more charcoal on the graphite and for lighter shades, you can just apply less charcoal dust, just like here in the forehead area. Now let's look at the difference. Do we see where we apply charcoal or not? Look, look at the area where I apply charcoal. It is so obvious that it's not shining there anymore from any angle. Perfect. As the watercolor paper soaks up the water, no matter how hard you tape it, it warps and gets this wavy look. One way to fix it to iron it. You will need two towels for it and of course an iron. <laughs> First place the bottom towel, flatten it, then place your painting on that towel backwards so that you can iron out the non-painted side. And of course, lastly, place the other towel on top and iron on the cotton setting. Well, I had to wait till my iron got warm, so that was a little bit of waste of time, but hey, it's gonna be worth it. Here I iron it nicely, especially on the edges with back and forth motions, applying some pressure and iron it for a good 10 minutes, then boom, you got this flat result. Another way to keep your paintings flat is to put pressure on them. I mean, a lot of pressure. You can pile up your books on top and wait over a night or two. And in the end, you will see that it is going to be quite flat. I mean, of course, you can sit on them too. And you can read your favorite book while waiting. The first watercolor hack I want to show you is by blowing the paint with a straw or dust blower, you can have these radiating cool straight lines really easily. If you blow the paint with the right strength, this would become a very easy way to draw tree trunks in your painting. Here, these lines can become even bushes or you can maybe create some sunshine. And this air blower is something I use to clean my camera with. You see that I can push harder and get this straight line so that I can turn it into some plants. Why not guys, be creative. And these straight lines are easily made and probably if I made it with my hand, it wouldn't be that straight. My second watercolor hack is to paint a quick and easy sun in your landscape paintings. I painted the sky, my paint is still wet, I wrap my marker with a tissue as the end of my marker is flat, I make sure that there is no wrinkles on the tissue and I just press on the paint and pull. Do you want a bigger one? Then use another object. There I used one of our scented Christmas candles and I did the same thing and boom, a bigger circle. Then I fixed the circle with a little bit of paint. 
There you go, so easy. My next trick is about creating cool patterns with salt. While your paint is still wet, sprinkle crystal flakes of salt, not the ground one, guys, because otherwise they stick. Let it dry on its own for 10 minutes and you get all these cool shapes in the end after they dry. Isn't that cool? This looks gorgeous. My next trick is spraying alcohol on a wet paint. Again, I have blue color, again, my paint is wet. In this bottle, I have a refresher body mist with 90% alcohol and look what formed right after I sprayed it. Don't forget, your paint needs to be wet in order to get these cool patterns. Another hack is about painting soft transitions. After you paint all the colors you want, lift your paper up 90 degrees and keep it that way for a minute or two. You will see that layers will transition each other so naturally and when it dries, it's gonna look perfect just like this, just like a real sky. Oh, this is a fun one. I had Faber Castells half stick pastels. I love how vibrant their colors are. And you have a good variety pack right here. I will also use an X-Acto knife to scrape off the pastel. Instead of a pastel mat, I use here a sandpaper, but you can use a pastel mat with a good grip. I usually use Clairefontaine pastel mat, but they are very expensive and I didn't want to use it for this tutorial. I'm scraping off my favorite flower colors. They look amazing already. I can't wait to see the final result. You can add any color you want. This is your flower garden. Get creative. Once I'm finished sprinkling all this pastel dust, I cover it with an aluminum foil and make sure to press on this dust gently. I'm putting a lot of pressure here, but gently, guys. Are you ready to see the result? I'm super excited! One, two, three. Boom! Look at this! I love it! Looks amazing! And so easy. On to the next hack. I love working with charcoal. It's my favorite medium. It's blackness, richness, and the feeling in my hand is priceless. But my students keep complaining, saying that charcoal is so messy. Yes, it is. Art is all about getting dirty and creative. There is always ways to stay as clean as possible. For example, always have wet wipes with you while working with charcoal. Wipe your hands clean as often as possible and make sure not to touch your paper with your wet hands. Another way of keeping yourself clean is having a piece of paper towel under your drawing hand. This will protect from smudging. Or if you like to still see the rest of your art while you're drawing, you can use a wax paper under your hand, just like I do here. This is usually what I do because I would like to see the rest of my drawing. Let me use my pastel wolf portrait for this demonstration. As the pastel paper holds the pastel pigments, the grooves in the paper get filled up with pastel dust. So this leaves no room for colored pencil pigments. Besides, colored pencil is a much harder medium, so as you can see here, when you apply it, it even removes the pastel layer and reveals the paper color. So what is the solution? A fixative spray. Fixative spray creates a new layer of heels and grooves, leaving more room for colored pencil layers. Make sure to follow the instructions on the spray. Don't apply your colored pencils before the spray dries on your paper and make sure you do this in a ventilated room. Do you see how well defined these lines are? Great! Using Colorless Blender with Colored Pencils Colorless Blender has both wax and oil in it, so it blends the pigments very nicely by also giving them a vibrant shade. If you're not already using this tool, I highly recommend it. It makes your job so, so easy, especially in large areas such as hair and clothing details. Do you see how it's changing the color's vibrancy here? Amazing! 
Here for example, I didn't add any extra color on the scarf but I went over the blue with my colorless blender and as I added it more and more, the white of the paper just disappeared and my colors got a much better vibrancy all of a sudden. So definitely for your both oil-based and wax-based colored pencils, I highly recommend this colorless blender. These are all the new art hacks I had for you today and if you hadn't watched my first art hacks video, the link is on the right top for you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!